So in this video, we're talking about graphing systems of linear inequalities. So just like graphing a systems of linear equations, where you have two lines and you look for their solutions, we are going to graph linear inequalities. So we're just going to graph two inequalities on the same graph. So we'll start by doing the top one. So here they're both in slope intercept form, so they're going to be pretty easy to graph. So remember, the first thing you always want to do is start at your y-intercept. So in this case, it's negative 2. So I'm going to come over here at negative 2, and I will put a dot. And then I follow my slope. So because this is a whole number, remember, whole numbers are technically fractions. They're just over the number 1. So we are going to rise 2, go up 1, 2, and to the right 1. And then here, because this is not an equal to, remember we have to think open circle, so we're thinking open graph or an open line. So here we can think of this as up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1, and then down 2, left 1, and we're just going to dot this graph. Now here they say y is greater than this. So greater than, we're thinking we want to shave above the line, Looking right here, sometimes if that confuses you and you think, is this below the line or is this above the line or is that above the line? Remember, the easiest thing to do is always to plug in a test point. So here, if I plugged in a test point of 0, 0, I could substitute this in. Is 0 greater than 2 times 0 is 0, negative 2? Is this a true inequality? Is 0 greater than negative 2? And that answer is yes, so I want to shade on the same side of the line as 0, 0. Now what I'll do is I'll plot the second inequality. So we're going to start at our y-intercept of positive 2. And our slope is negative 1. So we're going to go down and to the right. So I'll go down and to the right 1, down to the right, down to the right. This is less than or equal to, so this will be a solid line, just like a built-in circle. Now because this is less than, we're going to think we're going to shade below the line. So we know here this is below the line, but again, you can always use a test point. So if I picked 0, 0 right here, if this is true, I shade on the same side as 0, 0. If it is false, I shade on the opposite side of 0, 0. So let's try to plug in 0, 0 into the bottom. This would be y is less than or equal to 0 plus 2 is 2. Is this a true inequality? And that answer is yes. So I need to shade on the same side as 0, 0. Now that we've shaded both sides of the graph, the solution set is going to be here where the two shaded regions overlap. So I know it's kind of hard to tell because of the highlighter, but it means that any value that I pick in this overlapping shaded region will make both of these inequalities true. So if I plugged in negative 2 for x and negative 1 for y into both of these, both of these would yield true inequality statements. All right, let's look at another example of how you might see a system of linear inequalities. So here they want us to plot each of these graphs and then determine which dots in the graph are included to the solution to the given system. So I need to plot each of these and then see which dots are in the overlapping shaded region. So we'll start with the first. This is 2x minus 2. We start with our y-intercept of negative 2. We're going to go up 2 and to the right 1. This is an open circle. So think open circle, open line, or a dotted line. So here we'll come through and do a dotted line. So now that I've drawn this line, I want to figure out on which side am I shading. So y is greater than, so we're shading above the line. So it's kind of easy to see that this might be above the line, but remember, anytime you're unsure, use a test point. So the easiest test point to use is 0, 0. So we'll plug this in. Is 0 greater than, 2 times 0 is 0, so is 0 greater than negative 2? 
Well, that answer is yes. So when I plug in zero, it is a true inequality. So I'm going to shade on the same side as zero, zero. Now what I'll do is I'll plot my second equation. So I'll start with my y-intercept of negative 1. And I'll follow my slope. This is negative 1 over 2. So that's down and to the right 2. So I'll, go, I'll start at negative 1, down to the right 2, down to the right 2, down to the right 2. And I can do the opposite pattern going left. Up and to the left, up and to the left, up and to the left. And because this is less than, it's not a less than or equal to, just like with the number line where it was an open circle, this would be another open line or a dotted line. So here I will dot my line. And this is less than, so I'm shading below the line, or you could pick a test point. Let's say I plug in 0, 0. If I plug in 0 here, is 0 less than 0 minus 1? So is 0 less than negative 1? Well, that answer is false. 0 is not less than negative 1, so I'm shading on the opposite side of my test point 0, 0. And now my overlapping region represents the solutions to the systems of inequalities. So they want to know which dots are in the solution, and our only dot is A. So here, we're just going to say A. All right, that's going to be all for this video. I hope that you found it helpful. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments, and we'll see you all in the next video.